All right, guys. A sponsor for rolling with T-Bone on this episode. Randomness, growth. Let's dive into it, shall we? guys welcome back to this episode of rolling with t-bone as we are rolling down the road on big papa been a minute since big papa's made a uh, appearance and of course it's been a minute before i've actually since i've actually been on any motorcycle shooting content as you noticed by my last two or three videos a lot of sitting talking head uh I said this video was going to be, have a sponsor today, and it is. This video's, uh, today's video is going to be sponsored by Gene Smith. Uh, Brother Gene Scott Smith and my friends list on Facebook. Gene uh, is a longtime fan of Rolling with T-Bone. And uh, a couple videos back, uh, probably three or four, I had put out that one of my GoPros had taken a dump and just clocked out and quit. My GoPro 8, well, Brother Gene watched the video and he messaged me and he said, hey, I've got a camera, I don't use it. I would love for you to have it so you can keep going forward with episodes of Rolling with T-Bone. So, uh, you know, Brother Gene Smith, thank you for uh, your donation of uh, a GoPro 8. And let me know, guys, down in the comments, if any of y'all ever had any trouble with the GoPro 8 just clocking out and quitting. I mean, it worked fine, then it didn't work fine. A uh, couple of seasons I've had it. I mean, not, not just a super long time. But, uh, yeah, it just hit the time clock one day and never cut back on. But, uh, so y'all drop down and thank Brother Gene Smith for... Uh, his donation to roll up a T-bone to ensure future episodes. Uh, you know, you can never have too many cameras because you never know when you're going to need a backup. I noticed uh, Shea Tree Surgeon had said that he had, uh, he uh, uses GoPro 4s, Hero 4s, and he had said in the comments on one of his videos that he had four or five of them for backup in case one broke, tore up. He always had another one, so. Uh, so I'm thinking if you can afford it. But that's uh, just, you know, drop down and let Gene know thank you for, uh, thank you for everything. And uh, let's talk a little bit about some growth that's happening. I've noticed that uh, my YouTube is actually starting to pick up and grow a little bit. Of course, I've had a YouTube channel since 2009. Uh, never really seriously used it for anything other than just listening to music or, you know, started getting into, like in 2020, like a lot of other people did. Uh, a lot of other content, of course. Before that, I had actually saw one of uh, Josh's, the Shade Tree Surgeons, uh, videos. I think it was the 1200 mile trip he did on the chopper on his Yamaha 650 chopper he built and I just listened to him talk as he went down the road and I thought man this guy's got you know he just takes a common sense approach to everything and uh, I really enjoyed what he had to say that's basically what it come down to it but uh, we're coming up on guys we're over three years moto blogging of course, I've always had a real good following on Facebook. But, uh, yeah, we're starting to pick up a little steam now on, uh, on YouTube. And I'm excited about it. I'm excited to see uh, if we can keep growing. Uh, one of the shorts that I put out last week, the one that's uh, about Farmer T-Bone, just call me Farmer T-Bone. Uh, I've had so many views that YouTube reached out to me and... So now I don't know where I'm at. I don't know what I was recording, what I wasn't recording. 
but anyway we're growing on YouTube that was basically I don't know if uh, I recorded that part or not I wasn't paying attention but here we are YouTube's growing you know we got Gene Johnson that our Gene Smith sorry I'm thinking about Gene Johnson for my wrestling days uh, thinking about Gene Smith and uh, tell you what guys drop down like I said and give Gene a thank you for sponsoring today's episode of Rolling with T-Bone and uh, y'all hold him up in your prayers uh, you know his mom's going through some real you know hard times right now with uh, health and just things happening and you know it's it's things like that it takes its toll on you you know you you, you have to uh, you know try to be a emotional anchor for everything and I know Gene would appreciate it so y'all hold Gene up in your prayers lift him up in prayer because me and Gene we hit it off pretty quick and made fast friends uh, we were brothers before we even realized we were brothers of course we were both Freemasons uh, probably what led Gene to my channel to begin with is Freemasonry but <laughs> we made real fast friends and that's that's rare for me I, I normally don't warm up to people fast like that and, you know Gene just he's just a real good guy really enjoy hanging out with him we've got to go on a couple of good rides together uh, and hope to do more good rides together but you know y'all just thank brother Gene for for donating to rolling with T-Bone like that and you know not everybody would give you a camera that they've only bought and used a couple of times and he said hey it's just laying in a drawer <laughs> I love your I love watching your content. I love your episodes of Rolling with T-Bone, and I just want to see you move forward with it. So thank you for that, Gene. I, I appreciate that. Uh, when somebody does something like that, it kind of kind of makes you realize that it's worth it. You know, what you're doing is worth something, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But anyway, this video will probably be a little bit random all over the place as I'm in the midst. Rolling on Big Papa, I'm headed back to work. Of course, this is my lunch break. I uh, had to run to the house, drop some stuff off, so I thought, you know what? I'm going to park the cage, and I'm going to jump on the bike and go back to work. But uh, i got to go finish up my day of work, guys. So I will see y'all once we clock out this afternoon. Y'all hang around. Of course, for y'all, it'll just be like that right there. And just like that, like I said, here we are. We're on our way out, guys. Uh... <clears throat> pretty day but a little bit of overcast not too bad but here we are uh, like I was saying earlier in the video guys uh, if y'all don't mind drop down and give Gene Smith a uh, thank you for the GoPro like I said he uh, he didn't have to do that but he did and uh, thankful that he did <clears throat> And remember to throw up a prayer for him and his mom, too, and his whole family. Uh, but like I was saying, guys, and that's might be part of what I missed when I didn't know if I was recording or not. My YouTube channel's actually starting to pick up a little steam and grow some. And uh, that's exciting. It really is. Of course, I've always had pretty decent following on Facebook. And like I said, I'm not trying to make money off of this stuff or anything, but... Uh, I'm thankful for the new, I got some new subscribers over on YouTube. Of course, uh, here in the last little bit, been Recycled Hooligan, Scott Free, uh, Julie Smith, I believe, is there. And uh, maybe G Ma Rides, I think. And uh, my latest subscriber uh, just picked up yesterday is a YouTube channel called Flip and the Blue Mule. Of course, Flip is, uh, he's from Tampa, Florida, living up in Murphy, North Carolina, living up in Peachtree area. And he is a local vlogger, kind of doing what I'm doing. So y'all go over there to YouTube and check him out. It's Flip and the Blue Mule. Check out Recycled Hooligan and all those folks over on Facebook. Uh, they, uh, 
or YouTube I mean they're all doing really good stuff making really good content and there's just you know it's not all the same kind of content everybody's doing kind of their own thing subtle differences you might say but uh, still making good content and I think if we all liked the same thing and did the same thing and talked the same way well, none of us have no followers so uh, that's the diversity I guess that I'm talking about there with uh, you with uh, YouTube and content creators uh, gotta have a little bit of diversity uh, so as we're rolling down the road here got a couple of things I need to have done of course we're coming up on Memorial Day weekend this weekend uh, y'all probably will not see this episode until Memorial Day because I usually do Monday premieres and if you're on Facebook watching this come over to YouTube and check it out on Mondays live chat just some good folks coming in hanging out we just chat about the video that I shot and whatever really whatever really we want to talk about so y'all come over and check us out hang out with us on YouTube, uh, YouTube in the live chat youtube.com slash TLD522 be glad to have you but uh man I tell you I, I'm just there's just so much going on guys that's kind of one of the things sometimes they just don't seem to be enough hours in the day for everything that you want to get done or you need to get done I'm actually going to try to make my way over to Appalachian Mountain Rides my seat bolt broke on the back of the uh, on the back of Big Papa here get Miltman to put me a new seat bolt on Hopefully going to try to ride and get you guys some more content this weekend. Of course, Memorial Day weekend, I'll have three days off this weekend. Summer kickoff. But, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed your Memorial Day. Because, like I said, y'all will see this upload Memorial Day itself. But I hope y'all had a safe and enjoyable Memorial Day weekend. Uh... Man, I tell you, I had a lot of stuff I wanted to talk about. Now I'm drawing a blank. That's the trouble. Sometimes if I don't record it when I got it on my mind, I forget what I'm wanting to talk about. But, uh, you know, I, I really am, guys. You got to be, and this whole, I was talking about the YouTube, about coming over to YouTube when I do a live premiere. Uh, I've kind of moved slow on things, and... Of course, those of y'all who have been with me for a while, y'all know kind of how I got started doing this. I was just doing vlogs, talking head vlogs from time to time. Like I said, I've had a YouTube account since 2009. And, uh, you know, all of a sudden I run across the, my algorithm page and here's a guy riding a, a uh, little uh, 650 chopper who's riding at 1,200 miles. And a guy called Shea Tree Surgeon, and I just kind of watched several of his videos that day, and yeah, he spoke with a lot of common sense, and I really, uh, I really enjoyed what he was doing, and I thought, well, man, I could do that. I, you know, I got stuff I can talk about. Uh, of course, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a natural comedian. I mean, anything like that. Of course, all my entertainment experience comes from pro wrestling, but. Uh, you know, I just, I, I enjoy this, what I'm doing, and Gene coming through with that GoPro 8 camera and just saying, hey, you know, I don't use this thing. If it'll help you keep your channel moving forward, you know, here you go. And that's just really cool because the gentleman did not have to do that. Gene did. But I tell you, flipping the blue mule, I brought him up there a minute ago. He's a new subscriber, and I subscribed to him. Uh... I really think I'm going to enjoy Flip's content. He uh, he kind of has a little bit different outtake on things, the way he does things. A little bit different outlook on what he does when he's riding, which is I'm excited about that. 
uh, but uh, you know we uh, we're all kind of drawn together by forgotten angels here as of late and that's what I was saying the other day in that video you know I've watched Josh I was a uh, I was watching Josh's content probably five years now maybe just a little bit longer <coughs> and uh, or four years I mean sorry not five years and uh, I can remember when he met Weems and I can remember when he went over and looked at the bike that Weems was building of course Jared Weems Weems Motor Co also on YouTube check him out he builds uh, he's a Triumph man and he has built several beautiful Triumph choppers that have been in magazines and uh, he has brought to life some of David Mann's art motorcycle art he's built uh, you know brought those bikes off of the canvas and made real real bikes out of them he's uh, built a couple of he built a Harley he's built a couple of uh, Triumphs but Jared's a great guy you know he uh, his daughter Ad Addie just built her first Triumph bobber already an award winning bike but I remember watching Josh when he went and first met Jared Weems and when he first went to the Forgotten Angels compound and, uh, you know, started talking to David Tyler and Cindy about everything that they were doing for the guys there. And you can tell when Josh talks about Forgotten Angels, it's not just something that he's doing. It's something that he wants to do. You can tell that I've watched over the last couple of years like I say, maybe two and a half, three years. His passion has really, really grown for Forgotten Angels, and he dedicates a lot of time, you know, going and picking up motorcycles. Like I said, they're doing the motorcycle giveaways, and y'all keep in mind the week of Memorial Day, which Memorial Day will be this coming Monday, the day that this video should premiere. Uh, you've got till that Friday to purchase a ticket to win the Raspberry Buffet uh, as Shade Tree Army History is made right there. The only bike to circle back around to come up to be raffled off twice. That's very cool. But, uh, you know, once you get in on these guys over there on YouTube and you start watching these, you can tell when someone's passionate about something. And, and Josh is very passionate about Forgotten Angels. So is Shay Lisi. His niece, I mean, I can remember first meeting Shay Lisi on his channel when she first started putting her moto blog together. You know, she was young and uh, she was hanging out with her uncle and riding motorcycles. She was already riding motorcycles uh, way before she started moto blogging. But she's, uh, she's becoming a very important influencer on YouTube for lady riders and not just lady riders <coughs> there's a lot of us guys who kind of feel like we've watched her grow as a content creator and grow as a rider on YouTube you know she's had terrible accidents laid bikes over but she grows and she just keeps pushing forward you know she uh, she doesn't She's not closed up about her life. She's very open about things that are going on with her in her life. Uh, Shay Lisi on YouTube. Check her channel out. You can find her through Ye uh, Shay Tree Surgeon's channel. But, uh, you know, that's just kind of what it's all about. I've been wanting... And I, and I started moto blogging because of Josh. Because I saw one of his videos and he really got my gears going and of course now I haven't done everything directly the same as he has done uh, you know I wasn't trying to trade Chase Cloud off of uh, Shea Tree Surgeon so there was a long time that I didn't even mention Forgotten Angels in any of my videos until you know Josh was like hey if you've got a platform please share this you know, there's no ego attached to this. It's to get as much out about, fault, uh, you know, Forgotten Angels as we can because they are wanting to go into <coughs> all 50 states. They're wanting to be able to ha help young men and women 
all across this country who need a chance not like I said not just a second chance but they need a chance at life as we come up on the road work here on highway 60 Big Papa letting his voice be heard. Big Papa's turning out to be worth some money, guys. These 100 year anniversary Harley Davidsons are really starting to show a mint now. Because this year's the big 120 year celebration of Harley Davidson. And that's another thing. That's what I wanted to talk about. There is a thing happening called the Great American Convoy. A gentleman named Adam Sandoval. Uh, a lot of y'all probably know who he is. He's on the Great American Convoy. He's raising money, money for uh, wounded warriors. He does a lot for our troops, guys. He has the K River Campground year-round. He allows the veterans to stay there for free. He raises money to help them out. And he's actually doing this thing for the 120th anniversary of Harley-Davidson. He's visiting 120 Harley dealerships all over the country. So go check him out on YouTube. Uh, Adam Sandoval is his name. Uh, and keep up with what he's got going on with his company. But, uh, you know, there's just a lot of great things. And that's kind of circles back. <laughs> I had mentioned a while back that I was wanting to tie my channel to something something that's more than just a one one time a year thing like toys for tots or anything like that i want to tie you know and then somebody mentioned here a while back since regina's breast cancer came along and she has you know beat that uh, of course we're always going to talk to you about being proactive when it comes to cancer of any kind not just breast cancer but you know, with the ladies, it's breast cancer, ovarian cancer, just so many different types of cancer that affects men and women, women and then just men. So always be proactive and not reactive. And as a man, I can tell you, us men, we're not very big on getting all these things checked the way we should, prostates and such. But always be on the proactive side instead of the reactive side. But uh, I know this video is kind of all over the place, guys. But I'm going to jump off here real quick and get on down to Appalachian Mountain Rides. I'll pick up with you in just a little bit. Hang in there. All right, guys. And just like that, here we are again. Back on the road. Had to get Milkman to do a couple of things to Big Papa here. Nothing major. Just a couple of... Had to have a new seat bow put on and get a couple things checked for a ride coming up. Oh. But I'll be honest with you guys, I'm getting to be wore out. Getting tired. Been a long week. And of course, uh, been a lot going on, of course, for everybody. I mean, everybody seems to just have a ton of stuff going on in their life right now. And it is... It is not always good stuff. It is not always good stuff that's happening to us. We have to go through the bad times sometime. And I know sometimes, or it seems this way for me, sometimes it seems more like the bad times are completely outweighing any good time that there could be. But, uh, you know, that's just a, just a, the nature of things. But uh, I'm hopefully... I'm not getting too excited, and I haven't, <coughs> not getting too excited about saying, because uh, what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to try to get you guys in some good rides this summer, but, uh, you know, as things kind of went off the rails last summer for, for us with R1's health, taking a dive like it did, uh, I'm just going to play it by ear, and as it happens, I'm going to try to make sure that I keep cameras with me close by where if it pops up at the last minute that I can get a cool video made 
then I will have my gear and my stuff that I need to do that to try to make sure I got you guys with me when I'm doing stuff but uh Uh, you know, I was talking there a minute ago about wanting to try to find something to put my channel behind and my support behind. And of course, I'm going to do that for everything that comes along. You know, like I said, being uh, cancer aware, being proactive on cancer, Forgotten Angels. Uh, I am enjoying making videos for Forgotten Angels. Kind of made the little spoof video was the last one for Raspberry Buffet. Like I said, I'm not a comedian or, you know, anything like that. I just thought it'd be a little cool something to try to do. But y'all remember too, guys, to go, uh, go to Shade Tree Surgeon's YouTube channel or just Google Forgotten Angels. Google will take you to their website. And uh, go to the raffle creator. 25 bucks buys your raffle ticket. And you get entered for a chance to win a motorcycle every two weeks or... You get entered to win a house at the end of the raffle. And uh, $250,000 if you don't want the house. But once you buy a $25 raffle ticket, no matter when you buy it, or no matter how many you buy, even if you win a motorcycle every two weeks, if you won one of the motorcycles, you would still be entered for the chance to win the house or the $250,000. So that's pretty cool right there just in itself, guys. But And it's not about winning nothing. I mean, yeah, would it be cool, like I said in the last video, would it be cool to win? Absolutely. But you take away the fact that you did something cool for somebody. And if you're looking at the top of the page, my emblem, my skull and crossbones rolling with T-bone emblem should be there. I'm also on these videos for the foreseeable time I'm going to put the Forgotten Angels logo in there just as a reminder you know because I may not always remember at the end of a video or any time during a video to remind you to go get a ticket <coughs> but I'm going to put the Forgotten Angels emblems on all my videos uh, that way it just serves as a reminder but guys like I said thank Gene Smith for giving me the camera that we're working with thank you for helping keep rolling with T-Bone moving forward and if you've got a GoPro camera 8, if you've had a GoPro 8 and it just clocked out and quit, let me know. Uh, mine just quit. I mean, it just literally just clocked out and quit. Uh, but, tell you what, guys, I think that's pretty well much going to bring us to the end of this video. Uh, I want you guys to... Uh, to all be well and enjoy this beautiful weather. We got the first holiday of summer coming along. But uh, remember to do all the good stuff. Thank Gene in the comments for the camera. Remember to hold him and my family and his family and all of us up in prayer. We can always use prayer. And uh, guys, until the next time, y'all take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. I'm T-Bone. You have been watching Rolling with T-Bone.